Hello everyone, it's Steve with FTR Owners Club. Um, there was a very interesting quote from Steve Fambro today on X, and it was, at real Donald Trump, we just heard you on Spaces with um, at Elon Musk suggesting that electric vehicles should have solar roofs and trunks. Believe it or not, we're already building these vehicles, Aptera. You can reserve yours at Aptera, the U.S., but be prepared to join about 50,000 others on the wait list. Don't let that stop you. And I was like, what is this about? I had no idea. Okay, it turns out that there was an interview between Tr Trump and Musk on Spaces. Spaces is this new part of uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, um, that you can do audio interviews and audio conversations. Um, so normally I do not listen to any of this stuff because of the absolute unmitigated disaster that the US political system is. Um, and so I try to just avoid avoid it. Um, probably not a good idea. I should probably get more engaged, but um, I just like to stick my head in the sand about this stuff. Anyways, there was a very interesting 10 seconds of this interview. Um, I did not listen to all of it, but um, uh, I tried to listen to it, but it was two hours long and I just could not um, listen to two hours of it um, to just to try to get the one relevant thing. So I found this gift, uh, someone, had a um, had the had the computer just do a transcript of it, which was great because then you can search for the keyword, and so I searched for solar, and uh, if you if you search for solar, you can find it right here, and it says here, um, it's right at one seventeen. Now the the interview had some kind of, I think there was some kind of denial of service or some kind of attack on Twitter, um, the server. So this this thing didn't start until like an hour later. So it turns out if you go back and you want to watch, listen to it, it's at two hours, 10 minutes and 58 seconds. So let's just do it together. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sort of waiting for you to come up with solar panels on the roofs of your cars and on the trunks of the cars. And it just seems like something that at some point you will come up with. I'm sure you'll be the first but it would seem that a solar panel on on the roofs, you know, on flat surfaces, on certain surfaces might be good. Yeah. At least in certain areas of the country where you have. Okay. So clearly, uh, Donald Trump thinks that putting solar panels on uh, cars would be a great idea, and that he's convinced that Elon Musk would be the first one to ever do it. I mean, we've been doing this since Sunracer, right? Um, but in terms of solar panels on production cars, uh, Aptera is maybe the first one to do it to a reasonable extent. And that's mainly because you can't get, uh, solar power is so energy um, diffuse, I guess not energy dense, that it, you just can't generate that much power with solar. Um, and you, you just need something that doesn't require a lot of power for solar to give you any reasonable um, advantage uh, like the uh, Fisker Ocean had a solar panel but it didn't do much and you know the some of the early Priuses had solar panels but it didn't do much so um, obviously Elon Musk is not I mean Donald Trump's not aware of Aptera so Steve Fambro was trying to let him know uh, I don't think it's gotten much traction it's got 84 views but um, it was very interesting that uh, this is something that just randomly came up on an interview with a presidential candidate. Um, so if you guys hadn't uh, noticed it, this is what uh, Steve Ambo was talking about, is that 10 second clip there. All right, well, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I didn't want to turn this into a political thing. So, you know, don't let the comments devolve into some kind of uh, political quagmire. But um, I thought it was interesting that uh, Steve Ambro noticed this. He was, he was on it. I guess someone must have let him know or he listened to the thing and caught that 10 second clip. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Um, have a great day.